Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a package to open for you. So, actually, I have two, but the first one's just a thingamabob or jimmy. Um, this is from La Lima Metalcraft, uh, aka Joshua Dawson, who was kind enough to um, send me a new clip for my Ion Slim flashlight. Let me just get rid of this box. I used the, um, whoa, that was weird. Um, I used the Vostede Mini Nightshade. And I gotta say, I really like this, but uh, the spring really hurts it because it's so light that it like bounces off when you go to close it. And then it ends up like kind of being open. Of course, I can't demonstrate that. There you go. Um, and it's just such a light spring that I honestly worry about like if I jumped or something and, and land, you know like it would just pop open I guess it doesn't matter because it's against the side of my pocket but I don't know it's like coming out of pocket I could see it deploying and so I just wish the spring was slightly stronger and just had a little better retention but um so the flashlight's right here this is the ion slim and you guys if you're interested I have uh full videos on the flashlight and um how to program it um so that's cool but um the clip is one of my gripes with the light it took me a little bit to dial in the tension it seems to be a uh, common occurrence my reaver arm citadel here i had to do the same thing it came uh slightly tappy and then i just had to bend it down a little bit and then break it in by using it and now it doesn't tap and it goes in pretty well it's tight but i prefer that on a light um and so I had the same situation here. The only thing is you can see where these ribs are and that kind of can make it difficult to get in pocket. So I wanted to try the short clip. So let me grab my uh, driver here. I have my get good screw bleeding unicorn. I think it's the 2.0 and we need a T8. So you have T6 here, T8 next to that. Pop that in, and that was wrong. We're gonna try a T10. See if that works. Still loose. I think I grabbed another T8, didn't I? Here's the T10. <laughs> it has a little play, but I think that's correct. Unless there's a T12, but the 15 was too big. I don't remember ever seeing a T12, so. Um, you just take off your screws, and here you go. We have a shorty clip, and I wanted this because I just wanted to see how it would work. Now, it may look a little goofy. We'll see, but if it works better, then, um, you know, that's what matters. And just so you guys know, most flashlights, I think, rock a very similar pattern so i'm pretty sure you could swap clips on most custom flashlights pretty sure haven't tried it but um yeah so i don't know why i tested the function let's see no tap let's see how she goes in pocket oh yeah she pops right in pops right out nice and tight but not um, overly hard to get in the pocket and I think it looks fine actually you can see the ribbing better now you can see the design better so I would say that this flashlight right here the ion slim from La Lima uh, actually benefits from the short clip I only mention that because when you order it you can choose so I would recommend choosing the short clip now, if you buy it from a dealer or something, obviously you're not gonna be able to um, choose. So I'm gonna find a Ziploc bag for this and I'll just chuck it in my um, flashlight bin that has some other stuff, other clips and whatnot. And just good to have extra clips for stuff, you know what I mean? You never know when you get a thing or something that you will need um, a clip for. And I love this flashlight, it is very, very good. And I am a proud owner of it. So put that over here. So I'll put my Reaver, which is fantastic as well, 
over there. Look at that shit, man. Sauron's Tower. Sauron! Whatever you guys call him. All right. Um, put away the driver. The next one, this is what we're all here for, is from Casey. My buddy Casey. Knives Fast. Check out his channel, please. I'm sure there's some stickers in here. That was a weird cut. Good thing you didn't see it. Um, that was that was a man cut right there. And no stickers from Casey. I am shocked and appalled and upset. Shocked and appalled and upset. <laughs> Sorry. So, anyway, check out Knives Fast. Uh, we have a wee knife. Uh, so it comes with a sticker for a, a knife that they can't sell. Um, I love saying that because that's it's always a knife that you can find in stock. Now, the I think this is the Arrakis. is a very cool knife, so I'm just being a jerk. I really like that knife. I have videos on it. Check it out. We Knife Co. You guys know, um, I don't check out a lot of Wee Knives. They don't send me stuff, unfortunately. I can't get a hold of them and have a real conversation. I think I might have burnt my bridges because uh, I've talked a lot of shit on their detents. And you know what? It was for good reason, and uh, I don't regret it. So, occasionally there's a cool wee knife, and, you know, I'll uh, find a way to check it out, or somebody will recommend it or loan it in. This one's coming by way of White Mountain Knives. So, shout out to White Mountain Knives for letting me check this out after Casey. I really appreciate that. It's dead centered, and this is gorgeous, man. They have some really cool knives, you know. Um... I do like their pivot system. They have that Wii, and then they have this sort of collar slash, um, it is a collar, but then they use this tiny little T8 screw, but I like that because it's it's just cool how they do it, and it makes it easy on them, makes it uh, good for the customer. You have that captive screw. I just think it's a good setup. Um, no lash. That's the detent there moving a little bit. Yeah. Um, this is an integral? No, clamshell. This is a clamshell. Yeah, there's screws, right? Yeah, there's screws. A screw. Man, that's really nice machining. It's a clamshell. It's kind of like that Kaiser Mercury I raved about. This one, it's harder to see how awesome the machining is because they they uh, blast and tumbled everything or PVD coated it and then tumbled it. But um, this is very, very good machining as well. Um, we have a flipper and a hole. Detent feels pretty solid. Yeah, detent feels solid. And this is a wild looking blade shape. You know what this reminds me of? This is called the Igneo, by the way. This reminds me of um, the Cybertrix knife from uh, Reich. Just that wild ass blade shape. Just gives me those vibes. I'm not saying the blade shape looks identical. I'm just saying it kind of has that feel. Um, you do have a finger choil here that feels really comfortable. Uh, and then you have a Tanto, a wild-ass Tanto blade. Nice hole. That's what she said. And it looks like right-handed. Oh, yeah. Oh, if you're right-handed, this is a good one. This is a good and right-handed. Nice flipper. Who designed this thing? Just says TNT. TNT. Dynamite. I'm TNT. I'm ready to explode. Is that how it goes? Um, I'm going to get a copyright for that awesome rendition. I don't know if that's a designer or what, but that's cool. Uh, CPM 20CV. It's right down there. Probably won't be able to catch it. Yeah, there you go. 20CV, and then it says TNT. Very minimal branding. Very cool. Look at that two-tone blade. I love the finish on this. Pops. That flipper tab pops. Man, that's a good knife. Lefty flick? Probably not happening. Not happening. Down here? Not happening. On the clip? Yeah, but awkward as hell. Damn. So I got to rock the pivot. And that made it weird. Hold on. Yeah. You could do it. It's just not ideal. It's one of those guys where... Left-handed, I would not recommend this. 
unless you just do flipper only or, you know, maybe you're a thumb flick flipper guy or you're okay with the pivot move, um, then it's fine, right? But if you're like me and you want to be able to just grip it and rip it, you can't do it. So for a righty, 100%, this is dope. It almost has a Gavco feel to it, really. Man, you feel that? Or you hear that? Yeah, that's nice. Um, look at those angles up here. Just wild. Very cool. And then you add in that clamshell construction. Just have a really cool knife. Knife. No tappies. Clip feels pretty good. Let me try that clip. Pops in. Very, very tight. Whoa. So, it's a good clip, but it gets really tight. Let me just double check that real quick. See if it's going. Yeah, I can't even get it all the way to the top of the clip. There I can. So, I have a double seam on my uh, pants because I have these pants that have these knife pockets. So, the front, right, and left pocket have, have a double seam for like this much from the corner over. And uh, on this, it can only go up to like here. But on the single seam part, it'll go all the way in. So it just gets really thin down here. It's not a clip where, say, like this, it stays thick. It's honestly thicker at the, at the top. This gets thinner at the top. So the, the thicker that material, it can clear it going in, but it just can't hold that thickness. It's kind of odd for a clip, really. Like you see this stays the same thickness. You have that piece that kind of go, comes up. So just want to point that out. But yeah, this is really nice. Uh, size wise, you know, I'm going to go ahead and say it's somewhere around 3.3 inches. Maybe three and a half. Really good in the hand. Really good ergonomics. No jimping or anything. Probably gonna just do this one video on it, so I'll give you the specs here. Yeah, 3.3, seven and a half, 7.6, something like that overall. Uh, weight feels solid, three ounces, three and a half ounces probably. Um, really cool colorway. External relief, but that's not a problem for me. Didn't feel it with the clip or anything. Contoured scales, they look good. Good thickness on this, you know, probably right at half an inch with the contouring. Mm, a little under that, 0.48, which is good. Man, that detent is nice on that flipper tab. I really like this flipper tab. Guys, I have, that's one thing you've never heard me say is that we doesn't have good flipper tabs. They have amazing flipper tabs. They do it probably the best across the board. Um, they just, they know how to jump a flipper tab. They know how to angle it. It just, man, it just feels good. Really, really nice. Lock up looks solid. Lock bar disengagement is good, even though it doesn't look great. Um, you just kind of come here and, and hit it. Hasn't felt out of the ordinary or anything. There's not a huge cutout or anything, but it works really well for the drop or the traditional, you know. I guess the lock bar is a little bit thin, but, I mean, that's not, like, really an issue or anything. Oh, man, that thing comes down, too. Look at that. Very cool. We Knives Igneo. Let me know what you guys think down below. I'd really love to hear it because this is probably a divisive model. Personally, I like it quite a bit. Um, it's just being left-handed that stops me from, you know, wanting one. Uh, Friday Night Gas Station Grip is absolute money. I mean, look at this. Just absolute money. Reverse. Friday night, not so much, because it's got some curvatures and everything, but this grip, money. Yeah, 
This is a great knife. Great job, Wee. Great job. Hell yeah. All right. Thanks, Casey, for passing it along. Thank you to White Mountain Knives for uh, letting us check this out. You guys can check this out at whitemountainknives.com. Use my code, LEFTY10. I will link everything I can down below for you. Um, there's a little mark here. Oh, is that another grind? Look at that. Didn't even catch that. It's got a compound grind. Look at that. You see that? You can feel where it transitions. That is wild. See it travel all the way down? And I thought it was a tanto. I thought there was a secondary tip, but I think it's actually rounded. I think it's just belly. It's just a wild looking belly. This is such a cool knife. Yeah, it's unique too, and I like that. So there you go. Um, I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day, and I will catch you later.